Hello. All right. <clears throat> so, Nick. Yes. Welcome to the next Persona game. Oh, I see. <laughs> I like this one. It has more boobs in it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. It's me, Noah, the end of Bandicoot, and I'm joined with Venom Fist. We're going to be continuing Hello. our Persona saga. Trust me, this will make sense later. But we're playing Catherine OG version. This is going to be something. <laughs> Alright, uh... We are playing on very easy mode because I completely suck at this game. Like, I'm completely awful. But I I do I'm enjoy it. take his word for it. To, yeah, I absolutely suck. So I need... I need... I need to be on easy mode. Just take my word on it. Catherine not responding. What the fuck? Um, just... Already off to a great start. Yeah. Come on. I want boobs! <laughs> <laughs> I want boobs and torture. Ugh. Guess I have to get out. Movie, right? After these messages. Yeah, yeah. I love, uh, I love it when things don't work. <laughs> Isn't it just? All right, badass? fuck it. We're playing fucking. Uh, what's that game called? Uh, fucking. Uh, Honey Pop. We're playing Honey Pop. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, God. All right, maybe I have to turn the quality down. All right, so I don't know if that fucked up everything. Nah, everything looks fine. All right. Start the story from the beginning. Well, sit back and enjoy the strange tale. In a strange tale that it is. This game's really fucking weird. To be fair, it's Atlas, so... Yeah. There we go! You're right, it is Atlas. <laughs> Actually, let's start... I think this is the perfect question to start off this session. What other Atlas games have you played other than Persona? Uh, I haven't finished them. I I've actually barely gotten into them, but I've played SM3, uh, SMT3 Nocturne and Digital Devil Saga 1. Mm-hmm. And you? Um, I played SMT... I, I played a little bit of SMT3. I played 4. I played a game called Stella Glow, which is basically a Fire Emblem type game. Isn't it based in like World War II or something? If it is, I don't see it, the connections, but no, I don't think we're thinking of the same game. No, I'm definitely thinking of a different one then. Yeah. Um. I own a few. I, I got a few like Game Boy Atlas games, but I don't remember them. I don't think I've played them for a good amount of time. Um. Well, obviously I played Catherine. A man with a certain curse. I know some, I know like the SMT, SMT community wants to kill me for when I say this. I don't think any series compares to Persona. I think Persona is like one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. Which is saying, yeah. which is saying something because I really don't like one and two. Well, 2 has a good story, but its gameplay is aged like cheese. Will he be able to overcome all the blocks? I was about to say, I think 1's also aged horribly. Well, that's why it's bad. <laughs> I mean, like, I tried getting into 1. I did too. Emphasis on tried. 
Well, which version of one did you play? Um, the PSP port. Oh, I play. I played the original PSP. <laughs> yeah. This fucking the I play. I got the PS One Classic for reasons that I probably said before. P Persona mm -hmm. One was already on the thing. So, I played it, and I couldn't get far into it. Like, I just can't play that game. Uh, yeah, no, that's fair. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? Also, uh... Left and right. Those fucking eyes. <laughs> Those fucking eyes. Meet Prototype Sai Nijima. Shit, I see it. Yeah, that that's lit. They literally took that model and changed the head. That's basically what they did. Right. Uh, better not skip it. No, I just, this is weird. <laughs> but uh, not only that, Catherine with a C, the blonde one, is basically Rise. It's like Risa got older and turned, dyed her hair blonde, and you get Catherine with the C. And who's Vincent? Vincent's Joker. Which one? Persona 5 Joker. Okay. The <laughs> only one people know or care about. <laughs> yeah. I forgot, I forgot June's a alias in 2 was Joker. No, for fuck's sake. What the go- Oh god, I woke up. <laughs> Somebody shut that goddamn dog down, you're gonna wake up the neighbors. Holy shit! I don't know what- Let me in, let me in. <laughs> what? Damn what? It. Ugh. I didn't know we are playing Ghosts and Goblins. I'm in my underwear. <laughs> I just gotta ask, why the pillow? Uh... The pillow represents, like... Comfortability, I guess? I don't know, actually, no. But yeah. Catherine's a puzzle game. While I enjoyed the puzzle game aspect, I'm not good at it. Like, this one's fine. But once we get to later puzzles, I'm gonna be dying a lot. And I'm on fucking super easy mode. So basically, super easy mode, um, it gives you, like, random perks, and if you, uh, if you pick up a pillow, which are extra lives in this game, instead of getting one, you get three. Alright, the thing I just got is all because of, a uh, super easy mode. It allows me to, like, jump up, like, three blocks. Hmm. Like... Uh, I'll use it right now. Like, drink this. Like, yeah. I'm not supposed to be doing this. And obviously I'm breaking the game by doing it. <laughs> but yeah. It will wear off eventually, but... Trust me, I'm so bad at this game, I need that. I need to play on superhero mode. I need the drugs, man. <laughs> I do need the drugs. Alright. But that was basically the tutorial stage. The structure of Catherine is that... Oh, oh shit, get me out of here. But, uh... <clears throat> the structure of this game is that you will do... I'm gonna just gonna... I'm just gonna call these dungeons. Because that's just the easiest way to call them. So, these dungeons... Um, you go through one a night, it'll have multiple levels within each dungeon. 
you'll face a boss, and then you'll return to real life where you'll do social links in massive fair quotes. And you can just fuck around. Uh, yeah. At least you got a gold. Yeah, I got a gold. Oh, what a terrible dream. Have you ever... You probably have, but have you ever woken up in a cold sweat? I've woken up sweaty. Yeah, but specifically a cold sweat. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Like, you wake up and you're just completely sweating so... In, like, fear or something? No. I have. It is the worst experience ever. I've got a really... Uh, hello? I think I ha I've had a nightmare that that has woken me up. Not, I'm not really a cold sweat. No, no. <clears throat> and I've also just woken up really sweaty. But that's usually because of one of two reasons. Okay, I'll be right there. And they're usually put together. Um, yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> I think, uh, you know what the funny thing about me and dreams are? What? Whenever I have a nightmare, for some reason I'm self-aware that I'm in a nightmare. So, when it happens, so I'm like, oh, if I close my eyes for, for a long time and, wait, and open them, I'll wake. And I do. Huh. Like, there, there is multiple... This is the inside of the NM Bandicoot. I've had some dreams where something's trying to kill me. And right when it's about to get to me, I close my eyes and then wake them up and then I'm awake. And this is how to deal with nightmares, 101. <laughs> yeah, be... You need to, you need to know you're dreaming. <laughs> be self-aware. Be an elusive dreamer, if you will. Pull a Deadpool. Pull a Deadpool. <laughs> I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> uh, that sounds like you. <clears throat> that ant will be important, trust me. What's that supposed to mean? One ant? <laughs> huh? oh, so long I can't remember. Hmm. Oh. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just Wait, what? She usually does the killing in her dreams. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but yeah. Oh wait, I, I didn't screen sh the screen share failed. My bad. Hold on, give me a second. There we go. I suppose. Pause. All right, you can look on your uh, the Discord now. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize, uh... Oh. God damn it. Yeah, what? The, the fucking game crashed. Well, this is a fine how do you do. Oh my god. What the fuck? Ah, uh, god damn it. Maybe you can't screen share it? Hold on, I'll make this work. I'll just skip the Don't cuts. worry, Crash's reaction is very on point. What? Oh. See, R Rick's gets it. <laughs> uh, I'll just skip everything. Chan, I'll just watch it on stream. No, we're gonna do it my way. <laughs> We're gonna do it in my way, god damn it. Alright, there you go. Of course, we're talking about jokers. Goddamn jokers. <laughs> Alright, take three, bitches. Sit back and enjoy the strange tale. Take 47. <clears throat> so... The new version of Catherine Full Body is coming to Switch pretty soon. So it is. It crashed again! Ma! <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it! Ah! 
Noah's just turned old. <laughs> just aging every time I freak out. <laughs> God damn it! Dead. <clears throat> that would be one hell of a way to go. <laughs> God damn it! You stole my beer! Dead. <laughs> I'm so angry <laughs> that you just died. Again. Uh, Alright, fine. Cheap. You, I guess you might have. Uh, I'm gonna ah, try I one more. Th I'm gonna try one more thing. Because we're gonna do it my way. <laughs> because I because this am is the one law. stubborn motherfucker. <laughs> this is one stubborn motherfucker. Alright. I got I, I got the son of a bitch now. I think. Crashing. No. Five. Shut up. Four. No. Three, <laughs> Piss off. Two. Piss off, old man. <laughs> it doesn't crash until I hit start game. Okay. I will. Again. I will. Crash incoming. In <laughs> no. <ten>. Piss off. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. <laughs> Me freaking out is funny. I'm just sad for for any subscribers that love that version of me because I try not to be that version of me. I know Sean fucking loves that version of me. Eh, I'm not usually a fan, but sometimes it has its moments. <laughs> Alright, alright. I guess you're just gonna have to watch it on stream. Alright. We'll do it your way. God damn it. Just wanna see the anime boobs! Yeah. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna play on hard! <laughs> just, just because that will be the key to making this work. No, the key to making this work is like, fuck this, I'm gonna go play Persona 5. <laughs> or, yeah. or I'll at, I will at least, like, say fuck this, get the new version and play as Joker in the trial mode. You can do that? Yeah. Joker's a DLC character in the new version of Catherine. Huh. Skip. Skip. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna show my, my, my masterful gameplay on the first stage again. Speaking of, what is your opinions on Rin? I, um... I'm being accurate, no homo, but I love, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. He's a great character. Um, I don't know, maybe if anime characters were in real life, uh, I'm about to die. You'd regret sleep with him? I probably have, I have no regrets sleeping with him, probably. I don't know. There's a lot of shitty people in the world. Sometimes you gotta just say fuck it. You heard it here first, people. Yep, I admit it. My friend Jesse loves chicks with dicks. <laughs> that just took a completely different turn. That's a running joke of my friends. Like, he can, he has like a bunch of uh, he has a bunch of uh, 
memes on his phone and a lot of them involve like chicks with dicks so <laughs> most of our friends are like you heard it here folks he likes chicks with dicks now are we talking are we talking futas or traps yes so what? both what's the difference uh one has boobs and the other doesn't yeah yeah, you see how broken that 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 thing is. But I don't care. So everyone, what is your opinion on traps and or futas? What is a futa anyway? What's the difference? It's a okay. Well, a trap is a guy pretending to be a girl, while a futa or futanari is a girl with a penis and or vagina. And or balls. I, <laughs> Wait, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't think I want to understand either. <laughs> Cost of death if he fucked a trap. Oh. <laughs> Could be worse. Could, there are worse ways to die, yeah. <laughs> Could have been fucked by the trap. Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, to get back to the original topic, uh, I like Rin. Rin's a great character. Although I, I actually just finished watching a review on. Uh, is it wrong for me to say that Catherine, young blonde teenage girl, is really cute and sexy hot all at once? No, actually, that's. I imagine that's n entirely what they were going for. Yeah. It is. <clears throat> but, uh, anyway. Like, th this reviewer. Oh, trust me, I don't judge. I have seen far worse. <clears throat> so, anyway, back to what I was saying. Like, this reviewer brought up a really good point about Rin. Rin is too good for the situation Vincent is in. Because, you, on one hand, you got a wife that you've been with for seven years, I think. But she's, like, super controlling and, like, trying to push you to marry her. You got other Catherine, where she's like the, uh, hey, screw responsibilities, let's just have fun all the time. And then you got the neutral ending where you're like, "Fuck this! I'm I'm not ready for for a commitment." Rin is too good because it feels even though, even though the turnoff is supposed to be that he's a guy, you probably won't care because Rin is just such a good character that you might just say, "Well, literally, fuck it." <clears throat> I'll just nod my head to that. Yeah, that's fair. Anyone besides me? Anyone? I, I can see where you're coming from. Just not a fan of blondes. I'm the op. I'm the opposite. I prefer blondes. I think they're overrated. Well, it's not like I. I'm only interested in blondes. Well, no, but... I'm not saying that. But... No, but yeah, I can definitely see where you're coming from with uh, Catherine. See. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I personally would just go neutral in this situation because I think both sides are terrible in this game. But when I first played this game, I just, I just played the, uh, I just used the uh, survey in this game and just see what ending I got. Guys, drink with me. That's all get drunk. <laughs> That's the worst. Drinking alone is the worst thing ever. Yeah. This is the saddest thing. My 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 sister 
Uh, she was hanging. She's visiting. She visited my place for a week, and she went into the other my my spare room, and just like she has a, she's got a couple of beers and <clears throat> and then she just starts drinking, and then I'm like, "What are you doing?" It's like uh, I'm drinking with ev with all my friends. So I'm like by yourself. Yes, I'm like, oh. <laughs> she meant it as a joke, but I felt so bad for her. <laughs> Alright. Well, don't worry. I am always here for a drink. Or multiple. <laughs> I want to per preface the per fact that I want multiple per drinks. <clears throat> well, me and Sean are planning on... We're going to be doing a drunk Mario party for St. Patrick's Day. You want to join for that? Uh... I do like drinking. Not so much, but... Can I just be there and drink? No. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you gotta play the game. You need to have... You have to... You need... A hard alcohol and you got something soft. Okay. Now are we talking shots, or...? Yeah. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm trying to think that. I'm not, for, I'm not forcing you, dude. No, I want to drink. It's the Mario Party that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> also, do I want to pour myself single shots or double shots? Don't. Don't. I'm a friend. Don't. You will be on the floor by the end of it. <laughs> So many, like, once a month I've done Drunk Mario Party with my cousin and his friends. He, except for the last one, he brought somebody new to join. Whenever you're a new be at Drunk Mario Party, you are the one who will suffer the most. Okay, what's the average shot intake? The average shot? Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> I don't know how to put it into words, but I can show you a shot glass and you can probably, uh, figure well, it out. Well, just how many of those? Well, let's see. You take a shot for every time you land on a red space. You take a shot for every time you lose a mini game, And that's just for, like, weak drinks, like beer and, uh... You take shots of beer? Oh, I do. You can take a shot of whatever, as long as it's not hard alcohol. The hard shit is when somebody gets a star or lands on Bowser. Okay, now I see why single shots. Yeah. Trust me, like, there's this one guy. So we had five people for Mario Party. And he and my cousin shared the controller as a team. He completely underestimated the game. <clears throat> he underestimated the game. Like, what, he replaced a beer shot for a minigame loss with a vodka shot. He did this twice. And he did a lot of other stupid shit. And by the end of the... By the end of a 20-turn game, mind you... Which is the nice way of playing... <clears throat> he was on... He was... He was out cold on the toilet. <laughs> out cold on the toilet while puking on himself. Ooh. You don't want to underestimate this game. I'm gonna go back to my question. What average shot intake? What was that? Average shot intake. Like, how many shots per person on average? On average? Um, yeah. it depends on multiple factors, like how many stars we get... How many times we land on Bowser and what mini games we get because what mini games we play determines how many shots you take. Like if we play a two v two game, the losers have to take two shots. If we play a one v three mini game, if the if the th if the one wins, everybody takes one shot. If uh, oh, I fucked up. Okay, um, sorry about that. Uh, if the one loses, they have to take three shots. Yeah. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, this dog, I swear. <laughs> Oh, things just sound like they're getting better and better down there. Yeah. But yeah, if you if we're gonna do this, please do not underestimate the game. I don't I don't want to be responsible for you to be drunk on the toilet. <laughs> you're you're a good you're a good friend, Nick. I don't want you to lose yourself. <laughs> A cool thing about this game is that the achievements actually do something. Like they they, they give you <clears throat> they give you like song tracks for the jukebox in the uh, cafe, and those songs are from other Atlas titles. Ooh! By the time this game came out, I think the most recent game was Persona Three Portable. So any any games that came out before then have an achievement song in this game. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? <clears throat> Wish I knew. One thing did they add more soundtracks in full body? I think they did. I hope they added Q. Yeah. Q soundtrack Q. is probably like the only good thing about Q. Well, that and the fan service, I would say. Yeah. I also really like the second dungeon in Q1, but that's about it. Take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. Keep just saying. Those who panic die first. Quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just just help me. <laughs> you hurry too. Go to the light, my child. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we are currently going through the first dungeon. I didn't see... Actually, I don't think we saw it yet. But, uh... Alright, so... Alright, so we don't... I don't... Oh, there's a corpse. Just ignore it. Oh. Okay. So, you can talk to these sheep, but the only sheep you should talk to are the ones that are wearing clothing. Because, <clears throat> because doing this will save their lives. This is basically the replace... I don't want to say replacement, because this is not replacing Persona. But this is basically the social links of the game. So, you'll, you'll talk to them in real life. And you'll talk to them in the, this game. If you don't talk to them, they will die. And I'm pretty sure they will give you a dialogue options. And if you don't give them the right dialogue option, they might die as well. These guys over here gives you tips. These guys give them give you tips on how to do maneuvers and whatnot. All right, now here we got the the confessional, which is where you're gonna come in, Nick. It's gonna give you a question, and you are the one that's gonna answer the question with your own opinion. Purple. <laughs> All right, everyone's fucked. <laughs> Yay! Anarchy. <laughs> I mean, anarchy is usually the best option when it comes to SMT games. Alright, the question B. Alright, the question one. Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? Alright. Who are we Does all? life begin or end with marriage? Does it begin or does it end? Oh, Jesus. Um... Well, technically both are correct. <laughs> But which one do you which one do you feel? 
life begin her uh which one uh, I'm gonna say end all right my personal answer is that honestly the answer doesn't exist in this game but it's like whatever but I think you I personally would say end as well because you're really setting yourself up to get fucked later if it doesn't work out. Someone else brought you here. Someone in the real world wanted you to be Yeah, well like, I saw it more as your life as a single individual ends. Yeah, it does. As a, on the same in the same day as your life as a married couple begins. You were just looking at it in the nicest way possible because Yeah. Also, I mean, like, if you're smart and you wait till mar you wait till <laughs> marriage to have a kid, then they can also begin there. My parents had a... <laughs> my parents had me and my sister uh, when before they were married. All right, I, so we I are we call a bastard. I'm not being mean. That is the actual definition of a bastard. It is, but uh, yeah, we are in the wrong apparently. Compared to everyone else that votes. So, yeah. After you a answer a question, you get to see a poll of how other players... At, as their first time data. So, yeah. We are roughly, like, 23%. That's also the same one for Catherine C. This is for you, Ricks. <laughs> Alright. On to stage two. Yes, there is. Uh, and I would love for you to pay attention to the background, because you'll see other people climbing, and they will fail and probably die at some point. Right, yeah, I'm just going to skip all these, because I more or less know what I'm doing. Anyway, there are uh, other items that you can pick up. This one, as it, as it can say, create a block. So if you need a block, you can create one. Oh, there goes one. Hey, move out of my way! Dickhead. <laughs> Get hey, about those coins. Get the you fuck can off. Use them to bribe people to jump off. <laughs> hey. You want to die? No. Die. <laughs> okay. No, get the fuck off! I'm trying to piss off. Oh fuck me! I will give you twenty dollars to jump off right now. Oh yeah, if you get crushed by a block, you die. So yeah, this takes place in the Persona Saga. But it's mostly just an excuse just to do something different. Which is fine. It's not a long game at all. I'd say we'd be done in like maybe three sessions. Alright, cool. Although, it would be really, really interesting if, like, someone just pulls a persona in the stream walls. It's, like, <laughs> what? it's like you see Joker use Arsene to fly up to the top. BULLSHIT! I was actually thinking some of, something similar to that. Uh-huh. Now you just see all the persona users just... Technically, all the persona users can fly. They just gotta ride yeah. their personas. <laughs> so he's like, BULLSHIT! <laughs> All right, time for your next question. Once we get through this part, it's you. Looks like you're twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Oh God! Wow, you really are into blondes. Wait, who? What now? <laughs> you chose. You chose poorly. Also, 
I know it's pretty obvious what the the uh, meter means, but I I very much implore you to just answer the questions honestly, and we'll see where it ends. That's kind of what I'm doing. All right, that's good. You're a nice guy. No, I'm not. Wait, what? Is that actually the question? What? Am I a you're, am I a nice guy? <laughs> I, I want to say something stupid. But I don't, but I don't want to be the answer. <laughs> answer debatable. Are <laughs> Are you a nice guy, Nick? It depends who you ask. I'm asking. Somewhat. Okay. I don't know. My my uh, social relationships are a bit weird. Okay. If I'm, Before we if get I'm to like that, a... I'm just going to explain this. This fat ass over here, you can buy items. But since I'm playing a very easy mode, I would like to keep uh, my slot open for those uh, drugs. Delicious Wait. drugs. Anyway, go for it. Go ahead and talk. Yeah. Normally, um... <clears throat> normally, the more you know about me, or the, or the more I like you, the more of an asshole I am. Same. Alright, is romance annoying? I hate it, or I love it? Ugh. Both <laughs> those answers suck. <laughs> I know. Maybe that's the point. What are you going to choose, Nick? Um, I don't know. You know what? I love it. You got to say the right words. I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> say it. I, uh. <laughs> say it. I love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And you know what? I said that with a smile on my face. I, I I said <laughs> I said I hate it just because of that other answer. <laughs> it was so dumb. Although realistically, yeah, romance is great. I I would only say I hate it if you're with the wrong person. Oh yeah. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel some sort of warm fuzziness from. Some of the gooey romance. And we are in the minority. <laughs> alright. Well, alright, now time for the boss. Also, fun fact, Vincent's running animation right now is Arthur's animation from Ghost and Goblins. Shit, sure, we are playing Ghost and Goblins. <laughs> alright, you're gonna be hearing me saying this all, a lot. Ready? <clears throat> It's symbolic. What? The fists of grudge have a key. It's the chemical. Do not die. Thanks for the advice. Oh right, yeah. So okay. So boss fights are chases. They are very fucking intense. I gotta say. Yeah, especially some of the later bosses. I think this one freaks me out the most, honestly. You, this bitch is trying to stab you with a fork. I will say, I think the one I find most intense is that, like, is that Cyborg Baby. Yeah, Cyborg Baby is pretty... F what the fuck? But, I find, I just find the hand creepier. It was this boss that ma that showed me, like, I'm not good at this game at all. So I'm so glad there's a super easy mode gl uh, 
cheat code to do. Like, this boss is so intense, I'm like, nah, nah fam, give me super easy mode, I don't want to do this. Actually, I remember for a while, this was the, um, there was that animation of, of when Gerard was on Game Grumps and he said this was the hardest game to complete. I, I don't, I don't blame him because, like, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong about this, I'm pretty sure there's some achievements that require you to play the game on hard mode, and you gotta get gold on hard mode. I could be wrong about that. I I, I think. Oh no! I, when when he completes it, he goes for literally everything. I so know. Even if there was an achievement, he'd go hardest. I know, but like the achievements are the hardest parts of him completing games. Yeah. Every single time, I swear. This is my favorite cutscene in the entire game, just for one scene. Not not the obvious fan service shot. This one coming up right oh, it's of the here, jaws, isn't it? <laughs> right here. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> <laughs> the meme face is real. Oh my god! I, I I saw a commentary years ago on this game, and one of the guys was like, you know, every time he opens his mouth, you kind of just want to throw a popcorn or a peanut right in there. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, you could throw like a whole apple in there. The way he's gasping, it'd be like a black hole. He gives Kirby a run for his money. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying something. Kirby v. Vincent, fuck off. So how old do you think Vincent is? <laughs> Youngest mid-twenties. I was thinking mid-twenties. If I had to guess an, an age... I would say like 27, 28. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Let's look up how old he is. Just give me a mo. What do you guess before you look it up? I had fun tonight. I was also going to guess about 27. Okay. Oh yeah! Holy shit! Oh man, this is not good. Hmm? What is it good? <laughs> <laughs> you know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell? Is this? I want to see a YouTube video where they edit all of him opening his mouth like hugely and just throw an object inside of it. Can confirm that a one Mr. Vincent Brooks is 32. He's 32? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see it too. Catherine C I think is supposed to be like 20, 21ish. Like I know she's uh, supposed to be like super young compared to compared to Vincent and Catherine with the K. Okay, wait. Age physically to Steve twenty. Age physically to Vincent twenty two. All right. How do you feel about me? Oh yeah, she changes her. Uh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, I can't quite explain it. I feel odd. Hmm? You see, this is my first time. Bullshit. Wow. <laughs> Who? He says this is my first time. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in love in first sight. I'm sorry. I'm really. You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, yes. 
and I can confirm that a K. Catherine McBride. Ha! Fucking really? Ha! Fucking I get it. Really? I get it. <laughs> I fucking is get it. Is a thirty-two. Oh my god! I fucking get it. <laughs> I got so bad. It's symbolic. <laughs> <laughs> it's symbolic and it's also a pun. Uh, <laughs> can't tell what's worse. <laughs> Let's just say both and move on with our lives. Yeah. And now we meet old Ryuji. <laughs> you know how they say every guy has three Although he has the same voice actor as Akihiko, so... I'm gonna say Akihiko dyed his hair blonde and gave up his weird I'm gonna be Goku phase in arena. Oh yeah. How come we don't know Rin's age? I need because, to know this information. Because she's an alien. <laughs> oh. She could be like a thousand years old. Well then again, so could C and so could uh Catherine with a C. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> also, why the fuck are there aliens in this game? Because <laughs> this is an Atlas game. <laughs> fuck, you're right. <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, there were aliens in Silent Hill. Oh, yeah. Wait, so does this mean there's aliens in SMT and Persona? I actually think there is aliens in one of the Shin Megami Tenseis. Persona, I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> well, I mean, if Vincent's in Persona 3, I mean... Oh, oh we're, we're... The Atlas Verse, okay. Yeah, the Atlas Verse. That's gotta be funny to think about. Oh wait, you know what? I think in Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor 2, I think there's aliens in that one. Oh yeah, also, the the Devil Survivor games I've played. I forgot those in my question earlier. I'm gonna ask, do you like sushi? I never had it. <clears throat> I know, I know it's not, it's, it's not actually the same as, like, f fish. Like, I, I remember this one, I had a friend back in high school. He said the, he said to me, like, I hate fish, but sushi is so good. I'm like, huh. hmm. Well, okay, I've had sushi. I'm not gonna say I had like proper sushi. Yeah, I think um, I think he means proper sushi. And I thought it was gross as shit. I think he means proper sushi. Yeah, okay, yeah. I don't know. I've always been very skeptical of it, and I've never found sushi I've enjoyed. So. Yeah. So I, I just don't like sushi. Yeah, that's fine. Like, although I kind of wish there was a restaurant like. That sushi joint we were just in, like just a ran like random meals coming by and you just grab a plate. I find that I find that pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what? Actually, when I used um, I once told a coworker back when I used to work that I hated sushi, and she was like, "Oh my god, why? Like, so she said that." It's like, all right, I can't just not like something, apparently. Oh, God, it's Eric. It's Eric. Yeah. Are we talking in-game or to my story? <laughs> to in-game. I agree with Toby as well. Shut up and eat your peanuts. Hi. Huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Also, uh, Erica here is voiced by Chie. 
Oh, that just makes things even more awkward. All right. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's it's funny to see to look at Catherine as a beta version of Persona 5. Because a lot of character models look a lot like what they would use in uh, Persona 5. And how you can you can you can argue that this bar is a prototype of Caf LeBlanc. Oh yeah. I would say it's also it's you can also find inspiration in um <clears throat> what was it like the penguin sniper? What? You know that new area in uh, Royal? It's called like the penguin no. sniper club or something. No, I don't know that one. Is that the one where they play like pools and darts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I never knew the name of that place. I yeah, still. Apparently it's called, like, I still don't know what my palace is, exactly. I don't quite get it either. No, but yeah, that area is called like the like the Penguin Sniper Club or something. And there's like a and there's a neon sign of a penguin holding a gun. Like just huh. above the door. <clears throat> yeah, that's cool. I just don't know, like, they're... I am very proud of myself for not totally spoiling Royal for myself. Like, I spoiled the more important parts, but one I don't understand. Hold on, uh, but if she's a cute girl, maybe it's lucky a lucky accident. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, wait, that affects morale. I better let you answer those questions from now on. But, um... Ooh, what not? <clears throat> yeah, whatever. I'll talk about that later. Um, but, like, I, I've i spoiled myself on Royal a little. Like, I, I see the endings. But I don't know, first, how does Akechi survive? I don't know about that. I don't know any of the extra stuff at all. <clears throat> the only things I spoiled myself were the endings and Kasumi's social link. Uh, I've seen her awakening. I have not seen her awakening yet. And I think I've spoiled myself on her like third stage persona. I have not seen any third stage personas yet, so. I think I've uh, no, I've definitely seen them all. <clears throat> but yeah, um. <clears throat> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty, uh, spoiler-free about, um, Persona 5 Royal. That's a good thing. However, I'm a little disappointed on one thing, but it doesn't really make that big of a difference when you really think about it. A thing. Apparently, the story isn't isn't being altered that much, from what I can tell. Like, I thought they were gonna change up a few things in the story, but I think they're just gonna be like maybe Persona Four Golden and just throw sprinkle in new things while keeping the general plot the same. Alright, this is our handy dandy phone. For the sake of for the sake of this LP, we're not gonna do any messages because you basically have to like create messages to <clears throat> to raise morality. And those aren't like questions, they're basic they're just like basically uh just tell the girl what they wanna hear sort of thing to raise the morality. We're not going to do that. All right. So I haven't I haven't really uh unlocked a lot of achievements. So the only like <laughs> Shimigami Tensei Nocturne, aka Shimigami Tensei 3 is like the only uh as well as these two. I never heard of the this game before though. <clears throat> DDS Avatar Tuner 2. 
But yeah, once you get achievements, you unlock uh, tracks from uh, you unlock tracks from other uh, games. Anyway, time for social link times. <clears throat> so yeah, like. I don't think you do this time around, but uh, after the next dungeon, y your actions will have consequences. I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Hmm. Have I met you somewhere before? Think of it. Um, I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the legend. Anyway, in my research, I found records indicating that guy looks like the um, Many men looks like the guy on the cover of uh, Digital Devil Saga. Other one, the glasses. The other one. <laughs> Which one? I think it's the first Digital Devil Saga. Where it looks like he's reaching into his jacket to pull out a gun. Which which uh, guy are we talking about? Uh, I think he's wearing red. Oh, him over there. Um, I have not played Digital Devil Saga, so I don't know. I've seen like I've seen art for it, and the and he looks like the guy on the cover. Uh huh. Except you know, like age ten to twenty. I wonder what I wish for. <clears throat> All right, so I'm skipping through this. They're talking about the Rapunzel uh, mini game. It's literally just the practice mode. I, I think there's an a few achievements in that mode, but I don't know. It's basically a simpler version of the game we're playing, and I also think it's endless too. I will say with a few exceptions most of the uh, most of the social link characters and massive air quotes are pretty forgettable yeah also I gotta ask no one questioned the bartender on the sunglasses <laughs> What? Hey, bartender, why are you wearing your sunglasses indoors at night? In a bar. In a bar? Alright. Oh, so is Erica just listening in on our conversations? <laughs> yeah, I thought that. These two are very unsettling. Like, these two old ladies are very unsettling. <clears throat> like, you'll I don't know why, but, but yeah. like... For some reason, I saw them and I thought of one of the bosses in uh, Persona 5 Scramble. I don't know which one you're referring to, so... I haven't seen it either, but I've seen like a thumbnail where it's like this old lady looking... I, I haven't even skin. seen that either. I haven't seen it, but I've seen like art of it. Or at least a thumbnail. Anyway, but these ladies will ask questions that you will answer. But, uh, yeah, the... All these people want to ask the questions. <laughs> well, not all of them. Like, these ones do. Nothing, nothing they say makes sense. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, time, yeah, time slowly passes, so... If you're playing this game, people will eventually leave, and if you're trying to save everybody, that's a really bad thing. Alright, and occasionally they can just leave. And we get little scenes. Goodbye, old ladies. <laughs> Go be creepy elsewhere. <laughs> See you tomorrow night. What do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Alright. If there's one thing we need to do, 
before the night ends. We need Safe. to drink. Yes. I'll this... go get my vodka bottle. <laughs> oh, don't do this to me, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> not <laughs> good because if you're gonna drink, I'm gonna go grab something too. But but no, drinking is very important. Because like, you get useless factoids about the alcohols. Yeah, just like you get coffee and curry trivia in Persona Five. Oh yeah. Like I said, Catherine is beta Persona Five. Hey, anyway, what were you saying? Drinking is important. Uh, which drink do you prefer? Whiskey, beer, cocktail, or sake? Never had sake. Uh, whiskey is for specific occasions. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by cocktail. That'd just be a pain in the ass to keep making, so I'm gonna go with beer. We need a beer. Are you the one that hates beer? No, I love beer. Okay, it must be Sean then. Like, I remember one of my friends absolutely hates beer. Well, don't get me wrong. Beer, for the most part, just tastes gross. But it, it's, it's, I quite enjoy it, though. I think you need to find a good, uh, I think you need to find a good brand of beer. Actually, I found this German beer, which is actually, like, it's, like, a bit sweet. And it's really nice. But uh, I don't know, I've already found a beer I like. Which isn't sweet, but it's also German. Uh, there's this brand called Mike's. That's my favorite huh? kind of beer. Like, I prefer Mike's uh, pink lemonade. Uh -huh. I actually prefer the regular lemonade as well. But yeah, I get I'll also drink uh, Twisted Tea. Uh, I know a big one here is Castle. Mm-hmm. Um, I personally prefer Vintook. Vintook, I think it's Vintook Premium Draft. Uh, I'll occasionally try a Guinness. Mm -hmm. Although, Jesus, Guinness does not taste nice. Alright, so we are drunk right now, and we're walking like one. But like I said, getting drunk is important. Because it helps you perform better in the dreams. Fuck kind of sense that makes. Yeah. Can I tell you something? I was going to sleep last night. You're not even that hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a major insult when even the drunk person is going, you're not that hot. Ah, uh, dude. Okay, that's another that's another uh, question to ask. What type of drunk are you? Um. Oh, okay. I, I I tend to spew a lot of useless facts, and I tend to like talk people's ear off. Uh huh. And for some reason, my accent gets slightly more broad, and I always have this little thing. With, with when I talk, mm -hmm. is that my, is that when I'm saying a sentence, at the end, I'll kind of, my pitch kind of goes higher. Yeah. Then I'll talk normally, and then at the end of the sentence, pitch goes higher. I am, my, my type of drunk is that I'm a more looser version of my crazier persona. Like, I'll just say a bunch of random bullshit because I think it's funny, even though it might not be. But, uh, I'm also an honest drunk. What my friends would love to do is get me drunk and then ask me questions, and I always answer completely honestly. Because I don't got a filter. Like, I, you know, you got some questions, I don't really know one at the top of my head. That I can think of. It's like I gotta. Th I I always think about the question, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to answer that question. But if I'm drunk, I'll say, Yeah, yeah, sure. If I would fuck a trap or whatever. I don't know. I wouldn't actually. Not, first, I actually wouldn't. But uh, 
He's trying to cover but it's up. kind of it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Like you can literally ask me anything. So if we do plan on doing a drunk Mario party, you and Sean can go like on. You guys can go to town on me and not the sexual way, hopefully. But uh, hopefully not. That's, <laughs> you guys can literally just like. Oh fuck. You guys can literally be like, all right, Noah. What what's your What's your favorite type of piss? Uh, the the one with a lot of vitamin. <laughs> Actually, you know, you know what's another you know what's another thing I do when I'm drunk? Yeah. Is um. Uh, oh fuck. Normally doing thing normally doing things just because. Oh, um, he's dead. Because <laughs> normally there's like there's some things I'll like I'll consider it or I'll joke about it. When I'm drunk, I'm just like, fuck it, let's do it. Like this one time. I got, uh, I was having this kind of like Mexican themed, yeah. um, night, and I got like, I got quite drunk, mm -hmm. and then, for some reason, we had to read a useless fact about, like, Mexico or whatever, yeah. and do a shot, and eat a pepper, Ooh. so, someone was joking about eating, because it would... All these different peppers, and I love my spicy food, but someone was talking about like taking a bite from a habanero. If if you know how spicy that those are. Yeah. So someone didn't want to someone A didn't want their shot and B didn't want to take a bite from their chili. So I took his shot and then I took my own shot and I took a and I grabbed a habanero and took a big bite out of it. Hello. Oof. Indeed. Ooh, I don't regret it, but... Oof. Anyway, these guys right here are the sheep versions of the guys we met in the bar. So, Excuse me, sir, would you like to talk about Jesus? But, no. <laughs> Push him off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's like, yeah, you, you really need to talk to these guys or else they will die. You can ignore all the normal sheeps, but you need to focus on, like, the ones that look different. Alright, Nick, it's time for your next question. Okay. Does it feel good to have a penis? Yes, it does. <laughs> Answer. Apocalypse. <laughs> Wait, isn't this Pharaoh's? The one asking the questions? Yeah. Or like a similar voice? Yeah. I think. This one's kind of different. Have you ever gotten a bloody nose from excitement? No. Yeah, no. Is that even it, is that even possible? I think it is in Japan due to like high blood pressure, but Yeah. It's not like no one has ever survived. Really? Far above this place. On the eighth floor. But yeah, no, I've never outside of anime, I've never heard of that. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just an anime joke. No, but yeah, I think it. I think it has something to do with um, Japanese people having like high blood pressure or something. Hmm. All right, so we were just told here that there are eight dungeons in the entire game, and we're on dungeon two. So, yeah, I'm. Th right. I'm thinking let's complete this dungeon, get to the bar scene, and we'll call it a session. All right. Yeah. Although I've had, I've had, ugh, I have had a couple of nights where like I wake up and my nose is just bl almost gushing blood. Really? That that it is actually a low key terrifying thing. That is a terrifying thing. I actually didn't know. Oh, we're actually on the third dungeon. I guess the tutorial dungeon counts as one. But uh. <laughs> but yeah, there's eight dungeons in the game. Uh, we'll probably tackle, like, three or four dungeons next time, and then finish the game after that. So, yeah, three sessions should be enough for this game. Yeah. 
Especially, especially the fact that I'm cheating <laughs> will make things easier. <laughs> well, trust me, Dungeon f 5, I think, is bullshit, even if I'm cheating. Oh, that guy's dead. F to that lad. Alright, skip in the level. No, but yeah, it is actually quite a scary thing, because I, I would just randomly wake up, and for me, that is that is cause for concern, because I could list off the things I've slept through, and you would not believe me. Really? Okay, let me put it this way. Two of them were live performances and circus. I am not joking. Circus? Yeah. Well, I went to go see a circus, and I was, just, and because I was just young, I was so tired, I fell asleep. No. Oh. And there was another one where it was like a live performance, and they even came to the table where we were at, and I was just fast asleep. So yes, huh. I ha I am a very, very heavy sleeper. So for me to just wake up in the middle of the night is already like, okay, something's up. Yeah. And then for my nose to just start, like, pouring blood, and it's just like, okay, well, Ugh. I'm dealing with this now. Is that a common thing? And it's only happened, like, at most, probably, like, twice, so it's very rare. Alright, that's good. Actually, I think it might have happened more than twice, but it's still, like, a very, very rare thing. And apparently it used to happen to my sister a bit when she was young. And it actually got to the point where my mom had her... Um, she had something in her nose fused so she wouldn't get nosebleeds anymore. Oh. But it was, it was just because the place we used to live in was very hot and dry. So nosebleeds were a common thing. Mm -hmm. Just from the heat. Alright. Time for your next question. Which of these do you consider the answer is chicken. Yep. Which is more cheating? An emotional trust or a physical fight? Which oh, is more cheating? Oh, wait, no. I, I, a physical fling. This one? I'm sure you'll see. Definitely the emotional. I don't know. Emotional... Hmm. Yeah, definitely emotional. So that's how you think. I'll take that as your honest answer. I think I would actually go with physical in this one. Huh. Like, you could have like a a flirty type friend. But I I, I, I think well well I think if you are gonna stick your penis in another woman, I think that's just more cheating, honestly. Yeah, but I would say that to even get to that or consider that would be there would be on some level a, a deep emotional thing attached to it. So, well, I, I slightly edge edge you out in terms of uh, the people's population. I guess I I don't know. All right, time for the next boss. I don't actually remember which. The boss this one is this is the final area for tonight use the terrain to your advantage and avoid attacks oh wait i think this is uh oh it's isn't this the bride that's the vagina boss Oh, it's the vagina boss. Uh, it's I the... thought it was going to be later, but it's here. Oh boy, I'm not sleeping tonight. Oh sh. Honestly, I will say this is the most, in my opinion, like probably the most funny looking one. I find it the most disgusting, and we we play a game it, where it there's is... fucking a penis persona. It is very disgusting, but it's also really funny looking, just because it's like eyes on the butt cheeks. Oh wait, there's a no. 
because he knows I'm not done it. Right, I got it. Yeah. So because of the setup of this whole place, I can't really cheat that well because there's like a lot of blocks um, that are not in threes. They're like in fours and yeah. If you get hit by those things like I just did, uh, your controls will be fucked up. Oh god. Controls, come back please. There's a vagina after me. Oh no. Oh, I died. The camera went back. Oh. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to come closer. <laughs> I want to. I want to stay away. Up, <laughs> oh, died again. Shit. <laughs> Love is over, among other things. As long as my attraction, as well as my attraction to the female form. Just leave that dying there. Oh shit! It died again. <laughs> See, even when I'm cheating, I'm I'm suck at this game. I find, I think what's even worse is that you get so close to the end. Yeah. Controls, please. Please get back to being mine. Oh, fuck. No, get back here. I made it. Fuck you. Fuck you, vagina boy. Girl, whatever. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I don't like my vagina with teeth. It's just me. I'm sure somebody's into it. Oh god, it's so disgusting. <laughs> yeah. The tongue doesn't help either. I think the tongue makes it worse. Yes, the tongue definitely 100% makes it worse. Oh god, I think I'm gonna be sick. No, I don't want it to suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent's like, suck it. I'm like, no. <laughs> you just get a stick and you just push it away from it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, please. I, I'm good. <laughs> Who's Afrin? <laughs> Who, what now? What's she doing here? I came all alone. Oh, shit. And this is why stalkers suck. Sorry. Did, did I say something? Catherine. I did? Uh, <laughs> well, uh... It's okay. <laughs> but it's a bit embarrassing. It is? You haven't called me by my name before. <laughs> Have you? Your name? <laughs> what is it, Vincent? I love I love how Rin crazy. I, I love how Rin is act her actual name is Catherine with a with a Q. Q. Yeah. But he's like he's like, no, I don't need three Catherines, I'm just gonna keep calling you Rin. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you bring up a good point. Don't stick your dick in crazy. <laughs> I... Whoa, hey, hey. <laughs> I couldn't keep myself away from you. 
It's so fucked up that all I hear is fucking Risei. Last night was amazing. It was the first time. And Risei also gets clingy, goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you just listen to this cutscene and then just close your eyes, if you play Persona as much as I have, all you, you, you hear fucking Risei saying all this. I'm gonna not be able to go back to Persona 4. Again, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's fine, because ever since Marie was added in Golden, I'm never going back to Risei again. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says, Marie is great. You're fucking insane! You know what, I kind of like the like the, sp the spring things. I like her hair design. I think that looks neat. Neat. Is the word. You can live however you want, too. Just so long as you never think of cheating on me. Oof. Alright, I'll see what can happen now. There's something I gotta tell you. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent. All right, look. <laughs> look. What? Vincent? Vincent? All right, listen. <laughs> you, you've already broken the first rule about not sticking your dick in crazy. Yeah. You, never, you don't make the crazy girl angry when she's so close to the dick. This is oh. even more important. <laughs> I love, I love, I love fucking Vincent with the the sunglasses. It's like, yeah, I, I saw this barkeeper. Like, he he's wearing these sunglasses at night. I thought that was a pretty cool style. <laughs> Oof. Like, I understand there was something you had to tell Catherine, but that was not the right time because you're in a very vulnerable position. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, she's got a knife somewhere. Okay, so I think I th my mind just glossed over the fact of the cutscene we're watching right now. I think Catherine just said that she was pregnant. Yes. Okay. And her being very passive aggressive, I'm like, you dump her. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Like, if my significant other was get like, if I was like freaking out because I, because. I might have a kid, and she's like, well, say something. I'm like, dude, I'm freaking out. This is news to me. Ch calm your tits. Uh, How about you, though? Thank you for calling. Yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. Although I don't think dumping is probably the best Well, maybe, maybe not dumping, but if it got out of hand, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, if if your significant your significant other does what K Catherine does to Vincent later, that's a that's a no. F you gotta fucking let her go. Yeah. Like, that's just not okay. I think we've established that all of these characters are unlikable. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Your phone. Did you get another one? Huh? Oh, this. Yeah, the the new model came out last week. So it hasn't been that long since you got your old one. So used it. Didn't you buy a new computer a little while ago? That is a that is a that is a fair argument. Like I I still have an iPhone 4. An iPhone 4S. Like I 
<laughs> I don't need a new phone just because it's new. As long as it works, it works. After all, I might have to take maternity leave. Yeah, you might, huh? Oh, but I plan to go back to work after having the baby. Yeah, I can get behind that. We'll just have to split up the housework, okay? You can't throw your clothes everywhere anymore. Oh, okay. Also, it's a woman's what? job to get you married to another possible. woman. That's it's a man's job to Whoa, stay free as long as possible. It really ticked me off. I'm gonna curse him to death. <laughs> Maybe his name will appear <laughs> in more Waiter. words from someone. Waiter. So you need to make sure you're saving up. Hmm. And all your late night dreams. Also, also, here's the thing. If he's already freaking about freaking out about marriage, why would you tell him this? Because it is not hasn't been confirmed whether she is or isn't pregnant. All she's saying is that she's late. Yeah. Which doesn't necessarily mean she's pregnant. Okay, that was overkill. Like. Like yelling at your, your 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 boyfriend, listen to me, and then just stab the table with a fork. That's a big red fucking flag right there. Yeah, that's the shit. She's also crazy moment. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fi I'm, I'm surrounded by crazy gotta go <laughs> the credits should just play right there <laughs> just like <laughs> guys I'm dumping both of them I'm going I'm going to go find a better woman <laughs> I'm gonna fake my one, death and move to Monaco. One wants to rip my dick off, and the other wants to stab me with a fork. I need to get out of this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is too much for me, man. Bring out the beer. <laughs> No, I have to agree with him. Your life is fucked. Really? Dang, that sounds really tiring. Hey, you guys, quit filling his head with doom and gloom. Erica. Oh, I feel bad for Toby. <laughs> oh. Part of me doubts you're gonna get like the true ending for K. Catherine. Yeah. But the implications is kind of sad for Toby. It's just because of the way you grew up. So, Lindsay, what's this weird dream you said you had? We'll listen to you tonight. Weird dream? Why are you asking now? I mean, I really can't remember it anyway. You don't? I was being chased by something. Uh, I don't know. It was scary. <laughs> I don't know what I was being chased by. He kind of looked like... A big butt cheek. <laughs> With a big hole. <laughs> and it had a tongue. <laughs> I'm like, <What> ew. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I think both Catherines are being unreasonable. Yeah. You know, my first time seeing this game, I'll say, because I was interested in the story, I played the demo and absolutely hated it, <clears throat> but, like, I was like, you should, you should be with Kay Catherine, because you were, she, you were with her first, you gotta commit, although now yeah. that I'm older and actually looking at the sto the dialogue closely, I'm like, ditch them both, god. <laughs> Jesus, fuck you too, Erica. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the twins. I would like to die. <laughs> Please. 
I'm only here for the pizza. <laughs> Pizza. All right. If you have a lot of things to do, do you just remember them? Your answers are: I write them down, or I remember it. Oh. I try to remember them. You're going through chaos. <clears throat> but yeah, I agree with you. I just remember it, like. There's no point in writing it down, in my opinion, okay. because if you lose it, it yeah, it's just going to be even worse, especially when you're mentally relying on that piece of paper. And then when you're done with it, it's just like, all right, well, now I'm going to throw this away somewhere. So. Yeah. Well, normally because I usually don't have paper here, I've got to, like, go into the kitchen for that. And when I'm... They're trying to work on all these sort of things. I'm just like, you know, I'll focus on this, on these few things. But all right, I gotta do this, then this, then. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, the, this this couple right here. Um. So the purple one is named Daniel, and he he's a childhood friend of Vincent. And his situation that he's in is that. He's in a job where he's being forced to marry the, the chairman's daughter, but he wants to be with the woman that we see right here. So it's kind of sad if you don't talk to him in the dream, he's just dead. Also, I just realized there's a teddy figure on the side of the bar right next to the what? woman. Oh my god. I just oh realized my god. that. I just fucking realized that. <laughs> I literally just realized it was right there. Goddamn Teddy. Hello. Oh, it's you. All right, so it took me a bit to rem to remind myself of Justin here. So... Alright, which is more pitiful, Nick? Men or women? What? That, that's the question. So how sexist are you? <laughs> One way or the other. I would say it depends on the situation. You have two answers. No, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Let your dirty truth reveal. Which is more pitiful? Um, I'm gonna go with men. Yeah, I would honestly agree. But and then you and then I'm reminded of like those women, those those women that like tried to like get like charges on man just by saying he tried to rape me fuck those fuck those people oh yeah those people exist yeah Okay, so I think Justin's story is, uh, I believe he, um, <clears throat> I, like, he was trying to help this girl out, and then she got killed, and now he feels guilty about it. This is something I want to do someday. Like, just take take some friends and go to a bar. You know, uh, I've done that. That's actually quite good. Yeah, like get get some drinks. Get get. That pizza is looking very edible right now to me. Like pizza, beer, and with friends. That sounds like the best pastime. Yeah, actually, you know, um, uh, I get a couple of my friends who go down to a pub. And they, not only did they have like a jukebox, 
um, that you can work with an app as well. But they mm -hmm. also, and you can play like literally anything. But there was also a couple pool tables. Oh, dude. I know. There, there, there's a bar near where I used to live. Um, it had like a beanie bag toss tournament. They had beanie bag toss tournaments, and it was great. Me raising a family. You know, cornhole tournaments. Uh, Those were a lot love, of fun. I just love pool. Pool is so much fun. Great. I'm not that good at it, but it's just. Well, a I'm not fun. fantastic at it, but I, I can win a few games. God, I really hate that you, me, and Sean live so far away because I really would love to take you guys. I would really love you to take you guys uh, to to a bar and we just all hang out. <laughs> that is something that is something one of my friends would have said to me <laughs> like it better or less than an asshole <laughs> that is totally something somebody would uh say to me All right, so we're gonna leave these fuckwads because one of my favorite character, one of my favorite side characters in the game is here. The policeman. Yeah. <clears throat> I like him. Like his whole his whole story is like, it's basic. He's basically Dojima. Like somebody somebody killed his wife, and he's trying to find the murderer. And. His plan by the end of this is to kill himself once he's been caught. So it's just like your job to both save him in the dreams and pretty much tell him like, dude, just, just your wife would have wanted you to keep on living and stuff like that. I like him. He's a pleasant guy. But uh, yeah, let's let's straight to be being an asshole. To being an asshole. To being an asshole. What's your opinion on vodka? Whiskey. Great for mixing. <laughs> yeah, don't don't drink that shit plain. It is the worst. I already do. I do sometimes. Like vodka is the the big is the hard liquor I play in drunk Mario party. Sometimes, like most of the time I buy vodka that's already been mixed. But huh? but you know, like some people might not be a fan of what's being mixed so they want the straight shit and mix it with whatever they want but oh my god I my first time doing it my first time drinking vodka was the absolute worst I thought I was well not that I was dying but I was like oh my god so much pain in my mouth oh uh, what I like doing is I get the I get the flavored vodkas yeah I like vanilla or cherry and I put that into a, I think it's a tumbler glass. Um, about about three fingers, which I think it roughly equates to about three shots worth. And then I fill it with coke. Mm. And I only have like one or two of those. Three if I want to get. So really, my wanna get favorite enough. in quotation vodka is like strawberry. Uh, that was the least terrible one that I've had. No, I'm cool. 
I think my favorite would be vanilla. Yeah, I'll have to try that next time. All right. Well, these guys are now here, so we're gonna talk to them. I'm gonna save, and we'll call it a night. Do you know what it takes to be a real man? Lots of money, power, harem. Oh. <laughs> what? What? What does it take to be a real man, Nick? Uh, a strong sense of self-worth. That's not an answer, so... <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> I guess we can go with power. Actually... Ring -a -ding -a -bing -bong. What? See, only half a man's worth is in his upward mobility. He unleashes his full potential when he's surrounded by women. That's why a real man shares his love with his man of eternity. I'm not after women. I said power. Did, did it cut out or? Okay, so I listened to Archie's voice a little bit. I think that I think he has the same voice actor as Adachi. Soon, my brain is just going to be picturing all these Persona characters running around. I, like, I know, right? All right, time to save. An hour and a half of gameplay. That's fine. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I am really, really drunk. Oh, let's, I wish I was. Well, let's just I, same. <laughs> There's nothing that pisses me off more than starting to drink and you're not getting drunk. Yep. Like my sister, my sister saw me and I was like super pissed off drunk and she's like, "Oh God, are you the angry drunk?" I'm like, "No." I'm, I'm I'm angry because I'm not drunk. <laughs> like that that that's like my new pet peeve. Like if you start drinking but you don't reach the drunk status, it pisses me off to no fucking end. So I'm I'm because I'm thinking, what's the point of drinking if I'm not going to get drunk? Exactly. But anyway, let's take a victory lap. Erica, you're not hot. Uh, boss, take your fucking sunglasses off. All of you guys are weebs. The cops, all right. You guys can go fuck yourselves. I'm going home. I hate my girlfriend. <laughs> my life. I hate my girlfriends. My life sucks. <laughs> I'm broke. Wait, hold on. I'm checking my. I'm checking my ATM. Maybe I should have saved up some more. I'm broke. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna go to hell tonight. In the next Serenade session. Serenade me, chip box. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on Catherine. See you guys next time. Peace. Goodbye.